Ba Kadosh Boker or Nasekh Babat Radaf Lamdalad Mudale 34A1. So we were just speaking about now the case of the Naska Drabi Abba. What is the Naska Drabi Abba? The Naska Drabi Abba is a piece of silver, right? Which is basically that belonged the right of Rabi Abba. What happened exactly? That Rabi Abba gave a psak to do with it. So it says there was a person that came and that he had a piece of silver. And somebody came and he grabbed it away from his friend. So they came in front of Rabi Ami. And Rabbi Abba was in front of Rabbi Ami, and the guy came and he brought one witness that he basically grabbed away the piece of silver. So what happened was, is he said, oh, one second, he agreed. He said, yeah, I, I grabbed it away from him. But when I grabbed it away from him, I grabbed it, it was mine. Because this is mine, that's why I grabbed it away from him. So says Rabbi Ami, and this is where we're starting now, says Rabbi Ami, how are the Dayanim going to come and judge this case? If you're going to come and you're going to tell him that he has to pay this piece of silver, you don't have two witnesses. So since you don't have two witnesses, so technically he has a migu. Because he could have come and he could have said, listen, right? He could have come and he could have said, right, that this is mine. Which means that you don't have two witnesses against him. Why, right? Because he does not have two witnesses. So since he does not have two witnesses, he's going to be believed with a migu. If you're going to come and you're going to tell him that he's going to be patur legamre, right? Right? You have one witness. So since you have one witness, right? So therefore, there's no migu. There's not a complete migu. Lishtaba, to come and to swear, right? He already said that he grabbed it. They came to the chatfa. Once he said that he grabbed it away, he's like a gazan. He's like a gazan. And obviously a gazan is pasul for, for uh, oath. Because if he already stole it, so he's also going to swear falsely. So therefore, what are you going to... So Amar Abba says to Abba, and this is why it's called Naskad Rabbi Abba. Havi mechuyav shebua shenu yichol yishava. He's going to be chayav shibua that he cannot swear. Anybody that, that cannot swear a, an oath, which he's obligated to do, he's obligated to take an oath. He can't do it. So he has to pay. That's the klal. That's the general rule. So Amar lehu Abaye, so Abaye, right, told him, so he told his students, Midami, he says, one second, can you compare both cases? He says, Hatam over there, Sada le'erue kate, the ed comes, to make the person weaker, meaning the ed is being used against the guy, right? Because when you have another ed coming with him, they're going to take away the piece of silver from him. But over here, in our case of the field, the ed is coming to his aid. The witness is coming to help him, not against him. So when another ed is going to come, they're going to put it in his hands. Everyone understood what happened. One more time. I come and I tell you, what are you doing in my field? So what are you talking about? I bought it from you and I'm here for three years. Okay, go bring witnesses. You only brought one witness. One witness for three years, but you only brought one. So says, so the, the students went and they told the buyer, one second, this is the case of Naska de Rabi Abba. This is the case of the piece of silver of Rabi Abba. Says the buyer, what are you talking about? The case of the Naska de Rabi Abba, the case of the silver of Rabi Abba, that one witness was going against the defendant. The, the one witness was against the defendant. He went and he said, he grabbed it away from him. When you bring another one witness, he's going to have to pay 100% the piece of silver. He's going to have to give it back. Here in our case, the witness is not going against the defendant. He's at the aid. He's helping the defendant. He's saying that he has a chazakah of three years. So it's not the case of Rabbi Nasqa What are you talking about then? Right? So he says, Ella, but rather, if it's going to be compared to the case of Rabbi Abba, Lechad Sada to one witness, Ultarte Shane into two years, Ule Peire, and to do with the obligation of paying the fruits, which means in that case, when the guy comes and he says, You stole the field and you ate the fruits for two years, and the other one comes and he brings one witness, right? Now the other one comes and he says, Yeah, I ate the fruits, but I bought it. So in such a case, that's the case where the one, the two, the, the basically the the one witness which is coming of two years, right, is going to be this case of Naska de Rabi Abba. That is what the comparable case to Rabi Abba, right, was. But the other case, it's not going to be like that. Okay? Until you're clear? Yeah, this is Lamed Daled Amud Bet now. 34B. Okay, we're by the two dots. Another story. Hahu Arba. There was a boat, right? It was a boat, right? So this boat is on the river. Two people were arguing, who does the boat belong to? Each one said it belongs to me. 
So one of them came to Bedin, right? 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 So he went to the Dayanim and he said, grab it, right? In order that the guy shouldn't come and shouldn't take it or sell it. Grab it until I'm going to bring witnesses that it's mine. What does that mean? He basically wanted that the Bedin should take a hold of it so that way the other guy, while he's looking for the witnesses, that the guy doesn't become smart. He's going to grab it and sell it. And then, uh, you know, but he already, you know, got rid of it, as they say. So says the Gimana, Tafsina Lo Tafsina, do we grab it or not? Meaning, do we grab it for the guy, right? Or do we not grab it for the guy, right? Because usually, many times in cases like this, we do the case of Kol Dalim Gvar. Kol Dalim Gvar is whoever's stronger, he wins. But there's a whole machloket. Oh, so then there's a whole machloket. Does that mean stronger in proof or stronger in, uh, yeah? There's a whole question about that. But whatever the case is, right? That's the, the machloket. Now, why? Because if nobody has proofs, so therefore, obviously, this is what you're gonna do. So Ravuna Mar Ravuna comes and he says, Tafsinan, we grab it for the for the guy. Right? Why? We're gonna take him into consideration. We're gonna find out maybe Bemet, right? It's his, and therefore we grab it and we're gonna wait. Now Yehuda says Lot of we don't grab it. So Azal Veloshkah Sade. What happens if he went and he couldn't find any witnesses? Right? Amalu so he tells them, Apkua behold No, 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 you let it go, and whoever is stronger wins. Now, again, what does that mean exactly? Whoever is the there's a whole question that exactly does, you know, he brings more of a proof or does, it, you know, whatever the case is. Mavkinan lo mavkinan. What happens? Do we take it out or not? Which means after Betty already grabbed it, do we take it out, which is called Dalim Gvar? Are we allowed to do that? Or maybe once the money came to our hands, we're not allowed to take it out, right? Unless we met have uh, proof. Meaning once it already came into our hands, we can't just let go of it. Beforehand, if it never came into our hands, let them fight it out. Nothing to do with us. Let them fight it out. Fine. It's nothing to do with us. But the second that it's already in our possession, hey, what, a Bedin just comes and throws it and just say, go jump on it? Like, you know, like, go grab it, go fight. Uh, we don't, uh, how do, what do you do? So Rav Yehuda comes and he says, Lobakina, we don't take it out. Rav Papa says, Mabkina. What is Alakha? Lot of Sinan. We don't grab it. We leave it there. Let them fight it out. But if it is that they did come and the Bedin took it, Lobakina, we don't let it out unless they met. That means basically, we don't get involved. Until Bemet they come. But if it is that we did get involved, we took it, we're not going to let it go unless Bemet we know whose does it really belong to. Okay? That's the two dots. Okay? Next part. Yeah? Ze Omer Shalavotai. The Ze Omer Shalavotai. Each one comes and he says, this one says that he got it from him, his father as a Yirusha. The other one comes and he says he got it from his father as a Yirusha. Aman of Nachman says, Rav Nachman, Kol Dalim Gvar, the, the one which is stronger He's going to come and he's going to take the chazaka. Okay? The Rashbam says it's whether in proofs or in strength. Okay? But there's a whole thing here. There's a Rosh. It's a whole question exactly. There's a Shach. There's a, it's not that simple. You know exactly what's, what does it mean now? Some people say that it's like Yachloku. Other people say no. It's like Yachloku means you divide it in two. There's a whole question. How do, what does it mean now? Hold Dalim Gvar. You know what I'm But okay, fine. So now it says, Umay Shna Mishne Shtarot Yitzim Yom Echad. He says, one second, but what's the difference between two documents that come out on the same day? Right? Now, in each one of them, it's written that he sold it. Yeah? So it comes out that one of them is not more mukhzak than the other. You understand what happened? The guy played a fast one. I'm going to sell my house. On the same day, I come and I write a document to you and a document to you. I receive money from both of them. Please, hasta la vista. Go fight it out. Oh, no, go. Not bad. No? Sounds good. Now it comes out on the same day. If it's one day after another, I can say, I apologize. The guy that had the next day, sorry, you lost out. But if it's on the same day, how do you know which time is earlier? You don't write the time. You write the date. You don't write the time. You don't write the time. So how do you know? You're going to say it's in the morning. You're going to say the afternoon. You're going to say nighttime. You're gonna, uh, two, it was in the afternoon. One's two o'clock, one's three o'clock. How do you know? You understand? Know so what's the difference between the two of them? Right? Right? The Rav Amar, the Rav comes and he says, Yachloku. That you divide it between the two of them. And Shmuel comes and he says, Shuma de What is exactly Shuma de Daine? Right? He comes and he says, Right? Um, Shuma de Daine is like the Shlachav de Dayanim, the throwing of the Dayanim, right? Which means that they're going to come, they're going to try to evaluate what exactly is going on. So again, this is the, the, the different she taught of how it is.